Hey guys, so at first I thought I wasn't actually going to have anything to talk about after I did my video last week, um, except for the fact that my light got fixed like an hour after I filmed. Uh, nevertheless, um, stuff did happen. Um, mainly Sunday. Sunday was a big day. Um, and first of all, this is what happened. Guys, guys, it finally happened. It's snowing! It's snowing! I'm filming on my phone and I still want to go out. Let's let's go out. Come on, hang on. It's snowing! Yay! <laughs> Woo! Look at this! It's sticking and everything. Oh my god! This is just so exciting. My phone's so wet now. So is my hair. I don't even care. Woohoo! <laughs> all over me. Oh look it's all through my hair. <laughs> On my camera now. Um, <clears throat> yeah it's snowed. I'm now really wet and I really don't care but it's just... Come on, come on, come on. It's so pretty. Hang on I might open my window. It might be better. It's not sticking though, the ground's too wet, which really sucks, but... It's so cool! I mean, I've seen snow, I've said this a million times, I've seen snow, but it's still really, really cool. And I'm just so excited that it's finally happened in Glasgow after they've said that it was going to snow for like three months. And it was meant to snow all weekend, so this is just so exciting. Day it snowed Glasgow. Ah, oh my god. Anyway, I'm gonna go now. If it gets any better, if it sticks, it's gonna make me so happy. Um, but we'll see what happens. That was Sunday morning, and that was so exciting. It only lasted for about an hour. It started to stick a bit, um, but yeah, after a while, the snow just melted. But no, it was really, really cool. It was so exciting. There's been, um, Frosty mornings all week, basically, there's ice that are all over, not all over the roads, but on the footpaths and stuff like that, so it's been really, really cool, because it's been really cold, I think the highest temperature we've had is like 4 degrees, but it's um, anywhere between like minus 3 and posi uh, positive 4, plus 4, I don't know, whatever you want to say, um, but yeah, that's that's been the week, which is really cool, it's been really cold, and I love it. Um, then we have Sunday night, where this happened. It is currently just after midnight on Sunday night slash Monday morning I've booked flights today which is great but I've now had to book accommodation for when I go to London um, it's in a few months time so it's not like I'm urgently needing it but <laughs> I've got a voucher to use and I've had problems with it it's not when I put the voucher in it's discounting the price of the room instead of doing something else that it's supposed to do. Um, I've emailed the website four times now. Um, I got one of my answers the first time around. The second time they didn't give me an answer. The third time they gave me an answer I already had and just made it more confusing and now I'm waiting for another response and I probably won't even bother waiting I'll just go to bed and look in the morning but oh my god this wouldn't be so bad if I could just reply to the person every time they emailed me but because of the website and the way they've set everything up you can't reply to their emails so if your question isn't answered in that first email you have to go back to the website email them again off the website and just tell them what you already know and what you still need to know because the person reading the email the next time around may not be the same person that read it the first time around. I'm just... Oh. People just need to make a system, okay? Yep, email off the website, that's fine. But if you respond to me and then you sit there and write at the end of the email, if there's anything I can help you with, please let me know. Let me reply to your email because... Now you can't help me because now I have to go back to it. It's, it's just, and then they go, oh, or call us. I'm like, if I wanted to call you, I would have called you in the first place. 
so just let me reply to the, uh, uh, just, I'm going to bed, I'm going to bed, it snowed today, and that is keeping me happy, <laughs> but apart from that, I'm just so frustrated, I will update you on that when I get my answers. That was fun, so after, um, now five emails, I sent the last one out today, and as I said, every time they reply, I can't reply to them, instead I have to go back on the website, and I still don't know, um, like I'm not guaranteed to talk to the same person basically, and I still haven't got a solution because their response today was, oh it's probably just a glitch in the system, but you'll have to call us for that, and the number that they want me to call on is not a free call number, and because I only have my mobile, which um, for the reason, like if you live in the UK or anywhere like this, you'll know what I mean, um, basically I don't have money available on my phone I only have the text data and call minutes available so because of that I can't actually call their number so a solution to my problem is not going to be an easy fix because I can't email them about it and the only other way is to call them which I cannot do because I only have access to a mobile wish me luck on that um, nevertheless I I've still booked my flights um, so I've got for one trip, which is a week trip, where I get to see my parents, which I'm very excited about. And then I come back from that trip, and then like two days later I'm going down to London. But that's not until April, so it's still a while away, but that's still really, really exciting. And hopefully I can get some form of accommodation booked <laughs> before I go down. It's only for one night, like all this effort, five emails, and now, oh, just for one night accommodation. Anyway, um, I was going to film this earlier because it's actually daylight for a lot of the time now and I get home at like 12 because of my timetable because it's really cool because now I get the sun set again um, I hate the fact that the days are getting longer because it means it's getting warmer but I get a sun set again but anyway yeah I was going to film earlier but then like I got back and I had a shower and like my legs just started itching so bad and I just ignored it I thought it was just because like I'd come out of the cold and I went into like a warm shower and that was it and then I looked down at my legs and they were just red, like, I have never seen my legs like that before, they were, like, not all of my legs, like, not the whole leg, but at least 50% of my legs were just bright red, so I've had some kind of reaction to something, and I still don't know what, because it was only on my legs, and I haven't done anything different to what I've done in any other time, so... I don't know what it was, but it was so itchy, and it took a good half an hour after my shower before it actually went away, so, and I'm starting to feel itchy again just talking about it, so I'm going to stop now. Anyway, it's been, um, it's been an interesting week. A lot of stuff has happened after I thought nothing would happen because I'm going back to class, but my classes are good. Somehow I've managed to get a really strange mix of classes. I'm doing, like, two from a law faculty, a medicine class, and a music class. So, my brain is going to be like mush by the end of it because I'm not going to actually know what faculty I'm in anymore. But we'll get there. Um, it's, yeah, it's been a really good week. Um, I'm starving, so, what's the time? Food's not even ready yet. Um, I'm really, really ready for food in case you haven't figured that out. Um, but yeah, so, it's been a eventful week at the end of the day and hopefully there's some more snow they're saying snow again over this weekend again on Sunday so fingers crossed fingers crossed I can get more snow um, that would be really cool but we'll see what happens because I don't know it's actually really blue skies and sunny for the last couple of days which is freaking me out I feel like I'm back home and it's really deceptive because it's like oh blue skies and sun and you walk outside and it's about 20 to 30 degrees colder than what you expect it to be um, especially when you talk to people from back home where it is 32 degrees and you're walking out to 2 degrees. Like I did yesterday, where I walked out and I had short sleeves and I was like, yeah, it's fine, I'm not walking very far, and I was all good. I'm like, yeah, it's maybe about 2 degrees outside, I looked at the weather, it was minus 1, and I went, probably should have put that jacket on. My bad. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm going to stop babbling and everything now. And I'll leave you all to it, and I will talk to you all again next week, hopefully with more snow. Alright. Bye guys!